Hello, this is a mini bit tutorial on how to find ebooks in the Santa Monica College Library. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at OneSearch, which is right here. And this is for looking for books, among other things. And right now, we're just going to be focusing on ebooks. So, I'm going to put my search in right here. The search that I'm going to be looking for today, for an example, is online learning. And then you can use other words for that too. Like I, there's online education, there's distance education, there's e-learning, there's online learning. Different words that you use will give you different results. Um, since I started typing, online education came up, so I'm going to use that as a search. And you click right here. This might take a second for it to log in. Okay, so it's gonna take us to our catalog. And what we wanna do is, it says articles, books, and more. I'm going to change this to books and videos on library shelves. And then we're gonna look at over here, we can have um, different ways to expand and to narrow our search. So one thing we want for sure, we want books that are available online. So we're gonna click that. Um, we can also change over here format. So we're only looking for books, so we wanna click books. So we go down here and find books. And then we can apply our filters. And as you see, that will limit our search. Um, we have 2000 now. We can also go to collection and we can look at different options here. Um, we have different, various different options for the collection, different digital libraries. So we are looking for a particular digital library that we want to access, we can click that. Uh, right now, I am not going to do that, but that could be an option. Okay, and then the other thing we can do, we can do publication date. So let's say we want to have this current. This is going from 1900 to 2020. Um, let's say we want this in the next, like the last 10 years, so we go 2010. We can even make it more narrow than that, but right now I'm just doing 2010. I'm going to put the filters in. Okay, so that limited up to about 700 books. Uh, we can do uh, more limits if we want to, and we can also lock on it here. If we're going to only be looking for online books, we can do the lock. Um, and then we want the years active and so on. So every time we do our search, it will be locked in and we'll keep that lock. Okay, so let's look for a book. Um, let's see the book that we have here. Um, maybe Handbook of Design and Educational Technology. It's a 2003 book. It says the book is available online. Okay, this is gonna take us to O'Reilly. So we're gonna click here. Okay, and here's our book. Sometimes when you go to O'Reilly, it's gonna ask you for your email to log in. In this case, I, it wasn't dynamic, maybe I had done it before, but if you get that, um, that prompt, just put in your email and then you can log in and see the book. So um, this tells you information about the book, it tells you the date and so on about the publisher, and then you can click into the book and the book should be here. Oh, that's, let's see, let me get back up for here. Now here, right here are the chapters and things like that that you would be interested in. Okay, so there's your book. Okay, so that's how you do that. Um, by doing it this way, you have a, diff a lot of different um, resources that you can find through our databases. The other option, if you don't wanna go through so many sources, if you go back to our library over here, you go into databases, you go into eBooks, and this will break it down a little bit more. So we were in Safari, that's one that we just showed you, and that one does say it's a login is required. Um, but you can also go to the EBSCO hook, oh, sorry, EBSCO host um, eBook collection, which is right here, and do your search. 
And again, um, you can change the words of your search. So we can try maybe distance education this time. And see what comes up. Okay, here's a book, it says um, teaching online and your choices are PDF or EPUB full text. So you can click on here. Again, in order to get into these books, you're gonna to have to log in with your SMC um, user information. I've already done that prior to this orientation, but that's something that you'll have to do to log in since you're a student. So here's the book. And what's nice about this, it tells you how many books are available, um, how many pages you can print, email, or save, unlimited copy and paste, restrictions or downloads, so everything is right there. And then um, here's your book. And you can go through it. And just go through the chapters as needed. Oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you up on top, um, here are some uh, things that you can do. Here's emailing pages, printing pages, citing, saving pages, adding to a folder. So um, citation, let me just show you that real quickly. Uh, most people want to cite an MLA. So there is um, the MLA citation. And again, um, before you completely cite that, I would go to like the Purdue, the Al Purdue, and make sure that the citation is perfectly correct. Um, you know, with the punctuation and the space and everything. Um, I can tell from this that it does not have the date accessed. So that might be something you'd want to add. Okay, so I hope that helped you and um, thank you for listening.